Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and this is your monthly horoscope forecast for the sign of Scorpio for the month of January 2019. Welcome back. If this is the first time that you're tuning into my channel, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon, so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish on my channel. That being said and done, uh, I also wanted to say that um, when I write these horoscopes, um, they, you know, it's impossible to write one horoscope that applies to all Scorpios out there. So, because you know, every Scorpio is living a different, uh, different life and has different situations of, you know, in their life right now. So this is more general in nature. Take what you can and what you can't hold on to it. And maybe it may make some sense later and maybe it won't apply to you at all. So, um, I just wanted to, to state that. Um, and also I've been asked by a lot of people if I do private readings again, yes, that is my website here on the bottom right hand corner and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into your horoscope. So this month of January 2019 for Scorpio, you're standing very strong in your masculine energy. A lot of you have, a, we all have a duality, you know, of masculine and feminine side. For a lot of you females out there, you're standing more in your masculine side and you're standing your ground. And it's like you, a lot of you out there are having some, you know, some feelings that are, especially those of you that are Scorpios that are single out there. A lot of you right now are maybe looking towards the future. You're tired of, you know, holding on to false hope or maybe you've been waiting for someone to come around that you've been interested in but they've been unrequited so there's a lot of communication right now that you may be having with friends and keeping yourself socially occupied but you're you know that the end goal is that you're always going to love yourself regardless and put yourself first and that is a good thing you know you a lot of you have to we all have to you know practice self-love and love ourselves unconditionally and that's something that a lot of you scorpios out there this month in particular are are going to be doing a lot of you could be teaching someone this month something you know whether it's through a conversation like a friend you know conversing with them on the phone or through text or you may be someone in your family that you are kind of showing them something new and something that they will help them kind of elevate themselves and elevate their energy so it, you know it's going to be a month in which you're being very busy preoccupied socially and also your work is going to keep you very busy you need to kind of pay attention to your immune system because a lot of you out there could have a lower immune system if you know if you're very stressed out or you're you know constantly on the go so if you you know or it's a cold where you where you're at or very um like there's snow or very cold temperatures be sure to bundle up and take care of yourself you know don't go without your jacket or your sweater or your scarf you know a lot of you also are going to be traveling this month. There may be travels to a competition for those of you that are involved in some kind of, you know, competition or sports or, you know, something creative or dance. You know, there's going to be something where you're maybe competing with someone. You know, this could be up for a promotion and they're wanting to see, you know, who can deliver the best cells if you're in cells. But there's something about, you know, you moving ahead. And it's like you're coming out of this darker period into a more positive period for your life you're feeling a lot more validated in many things and it's like you have this new vision of yourself and what you want and what you don't want in your life and it's it's good you know because um the last couple of weeks and months you know leading to the end of 2018 a lot of you have felt this emotional loss so right now you're sitting more strongly in your power and you're realizing you know you don't really have to worry about that so it feels like financially you know you're okay that's not really your concern it's more about your emotions and your mental well-being and your spiritual well-being a lot of you though could be finding later in the month that you know maybe you met you've met someone if you're single and you know you're ready to maybe take the relationship to a date or to go out for drinks but there is some communication there that you will be doing that essentially uh and it, and it kind of lifts your spirits up and gives you hopes however your mind will always revert back to maybe an ex or someone that you really cared about and for whatever reason that relationship or friendship came to a close um so a lot of you could be revisiting the past meaning that someone could be apologizing to you or seeking um some kind of um you know uh, healing uh, because they didn't get closure and you didn't get closure and you need to finally like get that closure for yourself so this is going to be a month in which you could find that you are getting that um, in particular you know that someone is apologizing to you that they're saying that they're sorry but you know that level of trust once it's broken it's not always easy to repair 
So you will have to decide whether you want to cut them out completely and just move on after the closure or take them back in many ways. And that's something that's going to be very true for a lot of you out there, a lot of you Scorpios. Um, but for a lot of you out there, you know, you are feeling uh, emotionally fulfilled by the end of the month. And it feels like, you know, a lot of you could be, like I said, um, if you're in a relationship or single, you know, you could, there's a lot highlighted around your emotions and feeling emotionally fulfilled and loved by the end of the month. And you kind of, you know, that kind of gives you more of a feel to keep going because a lot of you have been asking the universe for signs or asking, you know, for some kind of validation of what you're feeling. Um, a lot of you could be getting more aligned in your spiritual path or changing the way that your spiritual beliefs are, you know, to be something that's a little bit more solid. So a lot of you may be spiritual or resulting, you know, reverting to cards, you know, to get some kind of spiritual insight, but you're maybe not meditating enough or you're not meditating at all, or you're not, you know, um, using protective crystals or you're not saging to cleanse your space because, you know, you're busy or you forget or you just don't feel like it's really helping you. But ultimately, these are tools that are being presented to you, you know, for you to use and utilize for its potential, for the highest potential. So that way that you can, you know, kind of protect yourself energetically from energy vampires and people that want to steal, you know, your energy or suck out your energy because you're around them and they're so negative. So again, spirit is, is reminding you that this is going to be a month in which you really need to kind of hunker down and really uh, regain your, your control over your life and over your spirituality because your spirituality kind of uh, is involved or it kind of, you know, uh, is tied and connected to your love life, to your finances, and it all has to be balanced. And like, you know, the last couple of months have not been balanced. You've been feeling very emotional, maybe even in a darker phase, a darker, uh, your shadow self. You've been more in your shadow self and you don't like that person, you know, who you are as a person when you're in the shadow self. And a lot of you are, you know, like I said, evolving spiritually. So it's just going to be a good month to kind of, you know, continue that healing, continue moving forward with your projects and your goals and, and not looking back. So again, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and again book a private reading with me if you're interested at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop wishing you the best month ahead for January and blessings and love and light